start to feel like, well, wait a minute, what's wrong with my features, my complexion, my body type? If you grew up in the 2000s, you probably remember singing along to 3LW on the radio. I'm Adrian. I'm Keely. And I'm Naturi. And we're 3LW. But after merely two years of staying on the charts, we had a platinum selling album. What is wrong? Naturi Naughton, the third member of the group, shocked everyone by leaving the group. Did she want a different career path? Or was it the rumored strained relationships with her fellow group members that ruined it all for her? Hard to pinpoint where things went bad with 3LW. From a pushy management. There were a lot of adults that were influencing us. They wanted to control. To racism. Nobody's checking for a dark skin. And a nasty food fight. Did y'all really have a fight at KFC? Yes, we did. Here's the real reason Naturi Naughton was forced out of 3LW. Naturi found her home, a temporary one if we may clarify, with 3LW, aka Three Little Women at the young age of 15. Together with Keely Williams and Adrian Bailon Houghton, the girls managed to carve out their own place in the music scene. With hits like No More, and Players Gon' Play, 3LW owned the 2000s. Heck, they ended up going on tour with Destiny's Child, which is really saying something. But trouble came knocking before the group could achieve new heights. Naturi left the group in 2002, and she didn't go quietly. The disbandment of the pop girl group was one for the tabloid. Turns out it wasn't all rainbows and unicorns between the gals behind the scene. That you had to learn to, to get together with each other. Was that hard? Yeah, it was a little difficult. It was a challenge. Keely might know about that. Let us know a little bit about that. Well, it was just Naturi and I. We had some conflict. We just didn't get along very well. well why not? What kind of issues were you dealing with? She doesn't understand me. Naturi just won't listen. Things went bad with three like where did we go astray but I do know the adults managers production company there were a lot of adults that were influencing us they wanted to control you know what we were going to become apparently someone in the upper management wanted Naturi gone bad actually when I was in 3LW I feel like they tried to blackball me in the industry then they would make it look like she was the one bringing down the entire group by passing mean comments on her choice of clothing she wasn't given parts in songs, and someone floated the idea that it would be better if Naturi announced it herself that she was leaving the group. Talk about the audacity. To sing lead as much anymore, I was told that my sound was not commercial or sellable or crossover. And I think when people get successful, they literally lose their minds, some people. So unfortunately, the managers of that group became very strategic about what kind of group we were gonna be. Some context here. According to Naturi, most of the tension came from Michelle Williams, the group's manager who also happened to be Keeley's older sister. According to Naughton, Michelle wanted Keeley to be the main act, and Naturi, well, she wasn't born for the sidelines. Here's what she said about the situation. It was a push by management, who always had something about Naturi. And so on our website, okay. the moderator holds it down. And basically she said, hey, you need to tell Chris, his name is Chris, what's going on in the website. You need to tell him what's really going on with 3 I said, okay, you want me to tell him the story? So I grabbed the phone and I said, all right, well, basically they're trying to terminate me from the group. Immediately, Michelle snatches the phone and says, no, Naturi, you're ridiculous. Why are you telling him that? Is that what, you know, you're supposed to tell him? The group also managed to land itself in some questionable dating rumor. Back when 3LW was all the rage, the B2K boys were also killing it. And what do you know? The streets were whispering about the two bands sleeping with one another. And I don't mean like a sleepover. Shock? Well, you haven't even heard the real tea. Turns out that Keely was the only one who slept with three members of the group. And if you think we're stretching here, well, why don't you hear it straight from the source? Did you ever date Raz B from B2K? Date is a loose word. Date is, I wouldn't give that definition. I think I said entanglement with but all entanglement of them except for Omari. And guess what? Naturi confirmed it as well during her recent appearance on The Breakfast Club. It was just my friends. Nothing happened. There was no entanglement. Us. We heard there was entanglement going on with three members. Oh, no, that's what the, the, the young lady, what's her name? Keely? Kylie? I can never pronounce it. We can never. She had an entanglement with three of the members. The trio W had an entanglement with three of the oh, members. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I haven't squashed and spoke at no, all. No, I, I don't talk to her. But that's why I was saying. Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get worse, it did. 
According to Naturi, the management sat her down once and told her that they wanted the other two to be the center of attention, with Naughton taking a back seat. Why? Well, it was because of the color of her skin. Was skin complexion brought up dealing with you three elves? Yeah, I was thinking about this. Um, when I got home, I was thinking a lot of people have been asking me, you know, why are they trying to kick the dark skin girl out the group? And I thought back to when I was 15 years old, about three years ago, management and our production company sat us down and basically told us how we had have to put Adrian, the Puerto Rican girl, more up front and the J Lo thing is in right now and they basically explain how there's a Puerto Rican fad and that she had to be more up front. And I'm thinking, oh my like I'm fifteen, I'm just trying to sing. That's all I really want to do. Okay. But did the group admit to any of it? Of course not. That would have meant a career death. So here's what Keely said instead. Those who know us know that she would not hesitate to check me when needed. We hope to resolve our differences shortly so we can all go on with our lives. But surprise, surprise, that never happened. They kind of destroyed what we as a group had. The management issues got worse and turned into a nasty food fight as well that forced Naturi to pack her bag. Yeah, it's kind of hard to imagine our faves throwing their burgers at one another, but Naturi narrated the incident scene by scene back in 2002 to MTV News. She revealed, yikes. This was the final straw for Naturi. She couldn't take the disrespect anymore, so she took the door. Realizing that, okay, I deserve better. I know that I'm supposed to be treated better. After a series of cat fights like that, you'd expect Naturi to fall flat on her face. But guess what? The former 3LW member is a cat that lands on her feet. Turns out that being kicked out of the group was the best thing that could have happened to her. She was able to go to college and pursue her interests in political science. So I studied poli-sci at Seton Hall University. It's a true shout out. I'm a Jersey girl, for all those who know, mm -hmm. East Starn. Politics is something I teetered or thought about even like delving into. When I post 3LW, I went to college and I was like, I want to be a lawyer or I could you know, really change policy. So I thought about either entertainment law or literature. So after 3LW went to school oh, and yeah, all that. Oh yeah, yeah, This was like post being kicked out of the group. Shortly after, she found herself performing Hairspray on Broadway. She didn't talk to Williams or Balon for a couple of years and instead focused on finding herself and making her mark in the industry. Heck, she even landed a part in the crime drama Power as Tasha St. Patrick. Protect this family. And I will kill ghosts to protect you. That said, her biggest challenge came when she had to play the role of the iconic rapper Lil' Kim in Notorious. Baby, I don't feel like doing it your way. Yeah. Apparently, Lil' Kim had some grievances with the documentary, and she barged into the director's office to have a few words. As fate would have it, Notori was right by to listen in on the showdown. And let's just say, she got some pretty serious flashbacks. Again, it started to replay the memories of 3LW saying, like, you're not good enough, or because I was, I guess, darker than she thought the character should have been. At the end of the day, Notori did walk away with some life lessons from 3LW, like not working with people you don't get along with. She said, trust is a huge part of it, and I think in that group, things just didn't go right. You'd think with the way Notori continued to talk about the group after leaving them, the three would never be in the same room again, especially with a plate of macaroni nearby. But newsflash, Notori's not fighting with her gal pals anymore. Looks like time does heal all wounds because Notori is on good terms with Adrian now. Back in 2017, while appearing on The Real, Bailon offered an apology to Notori against expectation. Out, and I was able to apologize to you if ever. There was a lot that went on in that time that now looking back is just like, yeah, it was, was so young and crazy. Yeah. And that I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, never meant any harm towards you. Thank and that you. I think you're talented and beautiful. Apart from that, Notori's got a full plate. She cemented herself as a triple threat by making her directorial debut with Behind the Smile in 2022. She starred in Jada King's Call Her King recently. You will show your strength. Not and also wild audiences in The Queens. Be the biggest selling crew coming out of Queens. So maybe keep an eye out for more appearances by Notori on the big screen. 
She also might publish a book about her 3LW days, so keep your eyes peeled. Documentary or behind, I mean, there's a lot to talk about. Starting to write a book about all that you know, I went through. Mm -hmm. And for anyone wondering whether Notori's given up on music, well, the answer's no. Totally given up music, um, no interest, no, no, no love. I, would, I never say given up anything, because I do a lot of films that incorporate music or singing. I just mm -hmm. did Kirk Franklin, The Night Before Christmas, a holiday film where I mean, me and Luke James, it was great. I feel like music is in my soul and in Oh, and let's stop bringing up Notori's drama with 3LW because that woman is long past it. Fine. People will never let it die. It's not me. People. But it's okay. I survived. Amen. And I'm cool with Adrian now. I'm so happy. Yeah, she's she's doing great and I'm so happy. At the end of the day, it doesn't look like Notori's still bummed about being kicked out from the group. Finally, I'm settled. I am satisfied. Uh, that $800,000 may not be a lot, but it's enough to keep her happy.